Have you ever made super slime? <laughs> I'm great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Laura, now that the festive season is upon us, uh -huh. I was thinking of a little experiment for us to do. Oh. And I thought, what says festive season more than super slime? Not much. <laughs> so today we're going to make some slime, but it's not just any slime. It's really awesome slimy slime. Oh, okay? Yes. So what you're going to need for this experiment is uh, some glue, some school glue. Elmer's glue is good. Um, you're going to need some baking soda, mm -hmm. some contact solution, contact mm -hmm. lens solution. Uh, some Johnson's baby oil is optional. Okay. Okay. Does it have to be Johnson? No, it can be any brand name you want. <laughs> or not brand name. You can get the no name kind if you want. Uh, glitter is also optional, but I mean I always really. take the glitter option. Is glitter optional really? <laughs> no. no. Uh, and some food coloring. Okay. Uh, and a measuring spoon, bowl, and spatula. Okay. And it matches your outfit. I knew that would be important Thank to you, you today, Laura. <laughs> okay, so we can use, you can use the clear glue or you can use the white glue. So I thought we'd both do one and then you could oh. use the clear glue. Thank you. And I would use the white glue. Okay. So as you see though, our bottles are different sizes. <clears throat> so that will have a little bit of an impact on what's happening here. Okay. okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the lid off and we're going to pour the entire bottle into the bowl. Okay. The whole okay. bottle? The whole bottle. Just squeeze it on in there. Oh, it makes lots of noises, Laura. <laughs> sounds like my stomach when I'm hungry. All right. All right, you good? Yeah. Okay. So we can lay that to the side. And now what we're going to add is some baking soda. So you have about half of the amount that I have. Mm -hmm. So you're going to add a half a <coughs> teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And I'm going to add a full teaspoon of baking soda. So you have to be just w mindful of what size your bottle is. So for around a cup of glue, you use a full teaspoon. And around a half cup, you use a half teaspoon. Okay. Okay. So dip right in there, Laura. Non-toxic, so you don't even need to wear goggles today. Okay, ready? Putting it in. Do you just sprinkle it just, across the uh, top? Yeah, just sprinkle okay. it in there. Don't even think about it, just put it on it. Okay, and now you're gonna, if you wanna add color, this is the time that you would add your color. So I think I have a little Elvis Presley in my heart today, so I'm gonna go with <laughs> blue a blue Christmas, Christmas. yes. Uh, and what color are you gonna choose, Laura? I don't know my hair, but I think there's glue in my hair. That's okay, well there'll be more <laughs> later. You're okay though for now. Okay. okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna choose, um, Red. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So the red is there. Now the cool thing about yours is that yours is clear. So yours is going to create a different color red than say if you use regular food coloring, red food coloring in a white blue. Okay. So we'll maybe show you that later on. Huh? Um, and then the other thing to remember with the food coloring is that you can make it as dark or as light as you want. So if you want your slime to be translucent, mm -hmm. you add only a little bit of food coloring. Okay, but that's totally Will up to you. Will it be translucent anyway though because of the clear blue? Well, if it's really dark, it still will be, but you yeah. won't be quite as trans, it'll be lighter. Got it. Right? Okay. All right. Let's do it. Add your color. Just a few drops. All right. I don't want it to be pink though. I really want it to be red. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave that totally up to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, then you're going to take your red spatula yes. and you're going to stir it all together. Mm. It's true. And then you can kind of adjust your color after you stir. Like for example, my blue is very light right now and I think I would like, although you know what, it does have a little bit of a Mine looks like strawberry, wintry blue. Strawberry jam. It does. Mm -hmm. Don't eat it though. I won't. I won't eat it. Even though it's non-toxic. It's true. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Okay, well I'm kind of happy with mine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at this point too that if you want to add any glitter or anything mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. then you would add it now. Another thing you could add would be like essential oil, so you could make it smell definitely, you could have smelly uh, slime. Peppermint maybe. Peppermint would be nice, or a pine, maybe a cinnamon. Or... Eucalyptus. Oh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you I'm really into this. aromatherapy. You, you do love aromatherapy, Laura. <laughs> this is very true. Okay, so I'm going to be adding some uh, glitter to mine. Oh. If I can get the lid off, maybe I'll just shake it in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. Mm. And you can use different um, kind of weights 
of glitter. You know what I mean? Like you can use a super fine glitter or a mm -hmm. thicker glitter, whatever you like. Okay. okay. Are you happy with this one? Oh, yes. I'm okay. so happy. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Let's give it another stir to make sure it's all in there. All right. Now, we only have one bottle, so we have to do some sharing <laughs> now, Laura. Okay. So this is the contact lens solution. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you add about two tablespoons, maybe two, between two and three tablespoons to it, so you don't really, you can kind of eyeball it. You just put it in there and squeeze some in, and then give it a stir, and you'll see it, the consistency change automatically. Okay. But then you just gotta keep uh, stirring and adding the contact lens solution until the slime pulls away from the bowl and kind of sticks to itself instead of the outside of the bowl. So you'll, which sounds a little complicated, but you'll I'm, know as soon as you do it. I'm picking up what you're laying down here. That's good, Laura. Oh, I love the color of yours. Thank you did you. a great job with that food color. Thank you. So we just keep adding a little bit and then wow. uh, stirring it. I know, it happens so quickly Woo. too. So it's great. Just wait back on me a little bit, it's okay. Okay, and then everyone likes their slime to be a different consistency. Like, <laughs> I like my slime to be super slimy. And so, but someone might like theirs to be a little bit firm. The thing you gotta think about though, is that yeah. if you add too much contact solution, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard. Oh. You know it's gonna be too rubbery, really. Right. So see how mine's pulling away from the bowl there? Mine's been doing that for ages. I might well. have added too much. I don't think so, Laura. I think you're doing a great, a great job. <laughs> now, I'm gonna say this can get a little bit messy, but I'm gonna encourage mess. Okay, so once it gets like this, here's the, op the optional ingredient is baby oil. Mm. And this is, it actually makes it um, not stick to your hands, mm. which is very good if you like to have slimy slime, because it can stick to your hands. If you add just a little bit, and it makes it a little bit more shiny and stretchy, you do Yes, right? please. And you can get unscented or scented, whatever you prefer. Mm. And oh. then, uh, might I recommend putting your hand in at this point? Yeah. And then just you pulling may. it around. And then if you need to add any more, you can kind of keep your hand in it so you know the texture of it. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, so I need a little bit more of this, but I can add it in. Just make wow. sure you wash your hands Mine's afterwards. really sticky. Yeah, so you want to add more of your this solution. Uh. Do you like <laughs> Can you add some more? I can, hands? yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll add quite a bit. <laughs> there we go. So mine is actually ready. So while Laura is continuing to do it, do you need some Laura? Yes. Here. So, okay, ready? Okay. This is, now look, it's coming together. Yes. Now here, let me put this in it because then it gets off your hands. Okay. All right, here you go. <laughs> You need adult supervision for this, I think. I'm the adult one. All right, how you doing? Really good. Okay. Yeah. You good? You need any more help there, or do you feel you have a good consistency? I think we're getting it's there. It's coming off your fingers, so yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay, so while you deal with your situation, I'm gonna show you what's happening here. And mine is actually still a bit sticky too. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Mine is just right. It's almost like making bread. Well, not really. <laughs> it's not all like making bread. Okay. Uh, oh. Now mine is sticky. <laughs> Do you need some help with that? Aaron? No, I think I got it under control, but thanks for the offer. Okay, so here we go. Oh, oh yeah, look at that, super slime. Oh, this is amazing Isn't slime. it amazing? It's really very good, it's the consistency. I know, as teachers wonderful. we've made a lot of slime in our time. Whoa! Yeah. I know, so this <clears> is like ooey, gooey slime. Isn't that cool? Fabulous. It is yes. fabulous. And I might huh. even make mine a bit firmer, but I can continue working on mine. I really once. like the clear glue. Yeah, the clear. And I'll show you. Let me show you this. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Mm. Over here, I have made, it's kind of run over the side, which is super cool. But I have made this one here. <clears throat> Your cup and this over. is the red food coloring, but using the white glue and some purple sparkle, so you can see how different the color is, right? Mm -hmm. So you can make it look whatever you want. If you want to find out the science behind this, you can go to our website at theswingingbells.com to find out more. Hey, and watch this. It's fun for everyone.